Join the Patreon for exclusive shows and content. Also, if you'd like me to react to a specific video, you can do so in my recommendation thread. Yo, what's up, guys? Since I was just getting assaulted with all these comebacks in the same time period, might as well just do them all in one video. Yeah, why not? Just woke up, looking like this. Oh, yeah, we got Cheyun Smoke bringing a smoke back. We're still getting to NCT. He's in the NCT 127 subunit, right? Possibly an NCT U. Because <laughs> you know that group. Uh, Zero Base One, good, so bad uh-huh and oh my girl classified this is my first oh my girl reaction i know them through passing obviously mimi i don't know the arcade singhi adin bin, bin shh. <sighs> adin hyojung and there's two more members ah, i think we'll slowly we'll slowly i, I think when i when i see their faces i'll slowly recognize them but i saw their choreo like the opening choreo on knowing brothers it was like a little teaser it looks so it was just crazy <laughs> it's so beautiful and crazy and that's kind of what got me to you know push me to react to them for the first time i know a lot of their songs through passing dolphin dun dun dance that song where they just like start rapping at the beginning the melody rapping the, that summer song mm. your face is caught on camera now jump in if you yes. say what you say what's the place trying to get caught up with you I'm in the coop chill, dude, you got a few on it and what you wanna do I'm going on Oh, it's like a noir-esque theme Time to imagine and leave it Only by my love, I'm getting drifting Better yet, I'm here to make it easier On you, so I'm I'm fooling around Come take you out, yeah If I'm hot pocket, don't let go Now I know it's your turn, baby, oh what in the smoothie <laughs> i'm sorry but that's just the first vibe i got what's the completely different vibe from that very amped up pre-chorus of smoothie it was more R and B, and then we just we're going into this. Oh, it's, kind of, it's, it's, it's a very subtle whispering cor chorus. I guess that's why it kind of reminded me of it. Oh my god! Oh my god. What the hell? So he slipped into the couch cushions it's like some other world huh and that's just like the goop from the time traveling oh he's time traveling yeah because this is like back in the day huh yeah, i think he's some, like i think he's a hitman or something okay. Well, I feel like I'm getting sort of old boy vibes. Not really, you know? I guess this is sort of like the spice of variance that he's adding in, right? Instead of just making this entirely RMD, this is sort of just like the, yeah, the subtle color change to make things a lot more interesting. Basically an anti-drop, huh? Right. Or back in the past. Oh, 
smoke coming out the boom box. Mm, oh, this is this is so desperate, Toad Idiot. Mm. Don't fall, don't, don't, don't slip into the couch cushions again. <laughs> Okay, ending it off with a Michael Jackson. But I mean, compared to Smoothie, I'm <laughs> so sorry for comparing it. It has a less drastic feel. It is a lot more smooth, and I feel like it is more cohesive in this song. Yeah, with that R&B vibe. Like, yeah, like I said before, I really think this chorus is a uh, role here. I was to change things up a bit and make things less into just a full R&B. And uh, uh, I guess push it more into that title genre. The title genre, sorry, that's not a genre. It's that title, ha ha ha. Because if it was just like full R&B, it might just feel like a B-side. Just a great start, nice smooth R&B to just start my day and to just start anybody's day. Perfect, perfect. He actually brought the smoke. Let's get to zero base ones. Good, so bad. Reminds me of Stacy's so bad. I wonder if it's the same meaning. I want you so bad. Oh, narration. I want you so bad. When you hear the rhythm, start to Okay, whoa, hold on a second. The budget for this music video, you we're using we had that whole ass alpha chain for one cut. Wow. The budget is kinda crazy on this. I'm They have to use that again, no? Whoa, watch, watch, watch. Wow. It, okay, this is probably the main outfit for this music video. They got that uh HOT vibe. Okay. Higher outfit change for a one second cut of Hamid shooting the, the heart arrow. Hey. Hey. Wow, this smells mainstream, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, the budget on this music video. Hey, want a date? Hey. Okay. Yeah, that is the main attire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a Queen of Tears reference? <laughs> 100% is Queen of Tears. Sort of? I mean, it's an umbrella. It could be Lovely Runner. Uh, the Chungook 7 reference? Mechi really doesn't do the breaks a lot, huh? I feel like they're allocating more to Ricky. Hey, hey.
Can't take my ass off of you. Good. So bad. Oh, sp talking about old boy. <laughs> uh, mentioning old boy. Hey, good to see you. Damn, old boy. That was, that was a twist. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh huh. I think they're referencing a lot of uh, movies. Full Metal Alchemist with the phone booth. <laughs> yeah. Jungkook Seven when they're dining. Zhang Hao is dining. Wow, this gives us a mainstream vibe. I guess sort of in like that One Direction line. Oh, I will have to say though, this isn't my preference. Yeah, this isn't my solid music at all. Is that just a complete opposite side? It has a lot of that retro vibe. Maybe that's also why they have the stylist styling them in that retro uh, outfit, in these retro outfits. Yeah, yeah, with the arm warmers. I think that was the play here. That was the vision. It's, it's very funk, funky, retro y. Yeah. The genre I hate the most? <laughs> Sorry. Retro, funk, disco. Not really for me. Not really for me. I can really say that, uh, I, this is, mm, dude, I think I, I have to be logical here. It's probably one of their weaker comebacks. Honestly, even weaker than Sweat. That Sweat was just really for the summer vibes. It feel the pop as well. And I think nothing's ever going to live, live up to In Bloom, man. In Bloom was just a masterpiece. But even compared to Crush, Feel the Pop and Sweat, this one really pales in comparison and it is last place. I think that really just is it. And I have nothing more to say about this song. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I think that was it. I thought maybe this would be the comeback to kind of uh, relight that spark and really get me to zero base work because they were experimenting with Crush. Yeah, and Feel the Pop and Sweat was just a passing summer song. Right after your summer concept, let's fucking bring out the gig gun, the the gig guns, the big guns. You know what I mean? And mix this party o'clock, nice summer concept, and then boom dash. You know what I mean? Sort of in that line. No, I don't know. This one uh, just didn't really do it for me. Go to oh my girls, classifying. Eh? All right, all the it's okay to not be okay reference. <laughs> oh. Okay, what the fuck? What in the orchestra? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the cello? Oh yeah, the chord is insane, oh yeah. Uh, uh, what's my favorite instrument, guys? <laughs> this isn't the violin, though. What's going on with the BPM? Pauses are everything, man. Oh, oh my god, the vocals were this insane. Mimi's a decent rapper, okay? Hey. Non stop. Wow, 
Wow, they have a lot of great vocalists. Oh my god. Is your name Binny? Oh, I don't want to confuse the group and her name. But I feel like her name is Binny. This is you all. But the one that did the, the pre chorus. Oh my god, Hyojin has such a charming voice. The blood member. <laughs> I think Hyo Jung and uh, Singy were amazing vocalists but to this extent. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my god oh. Beautiful will be an understatement for the song Holy shit These songs are this good? Oh, I think this is like an outlier in their discography. They usually go for more of that like very bubbly summer concept. My hunch is her name is Binny. I've heard her name before. Oh, you Bin. Binny. Oh, formula. <laughs> no, that's Binny. I was right. I was right. You Bin. Ah, hello. Hello. You Bin. All right. You Bin. Oh, Ginny, former member. Oh, okay. Why is it former? Oh, Chio. Oh, my God. She was in this group. Yeah. She left? Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, good luck to you guys. Good luck to you guys in your future endeavors. Oh, yeah. Chiyo, I face... Oh, I remember her face very, very much so. Not so much Chinese. Dude, this song is a masterpiece. Just a mashup of genres it has. It has orchestra. While also having a trap beat in there. And then why... The tempo, it's insane. The BPM is actually really, really high in the background. Yeah, it just makes it so fun. Oh my god, Hyojo was this insane? Okay, I have to be critical with songs. If I'm not critical with the songs, that means that I don't really vibe with it. You know what I mean? I wasn't, I wasn't too critical with Good So Bad. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too critical with it because I don't really vibe with it. But I, this is 100% going on my Spotify right now. Yesterday, should have been there yesterday. I have to be critical with the chorus though. Amazing start. It was uh, the, the pause with that violin run. Uh, uh. But it was an amazing 10 out of 10 intro for a chorus. I feel like maybe they had to do something ah, just 10 times more for part B of the chorus. I feel like they went a bit more lax on the part B of the chorus. I, I like that the staccato there. That's what it's called, right? And then that was it. And then that was it. Oh. Oh. I just have to be more critical of the songs that I love. But nonetheless, nonetheless, I still love it. Oh my god. Either way, that's gonna be it. Peace out.